We live in a society where it is considered rude and socially unacceptable to tell somebody to shut up. This is highly unfortunate because there are so many people who need to be told just that. So many people would come across as so much more intelligent if they simply did not talk so much. Some people speak every mundane thought, every mundane thing that pops into their head as if it's so important that somebody somewhere hear them. What they're not doing is they are not discerning from what is important important and what is meaningful from what is not important and what is just pointless. By doing so, they expose themselves as somebody who does not think things through and therefore does not seem very intelligent. A quieter person, however, will think things through a little more. They will find the thoughts that are actually important. They will discern what is meaningful and that is what they will speak. By doing that, they come across as so much more thoughtful, so much more intelligent, with so much more important things to say. This is one of the reasons why it is unfortunate that it is improper to tell somebody to shut up. If you tell them to shut up, you are advising them to take it easy, think things through, don't just talk for the sake of talking because they just come across as stupid sometimes. Let's face reality, they do. It also, it protects you because maybe you don't want to always have to hear everything this person wants to say. Maybe they are speaking inappropriately. Maybe they are just speaking dumb. Maybe they're just saying stupid things. By telling them to shut up, you are protecting yourself. Or you should be. It should be an invitation to say, hey, just stop. Where is the dignity in a constantly running mouth? A quiet person will come across as the strong, silent type, perhaps. There's mystery about them. There's an unknown that makes people curious and draws them in and makes them want to know more about that person. A person who is always running their mouth, though, only projects insecurity. Where does this insecurity come from? It comes from programming. People are programmed to believe that unless they are heard, unless they are seen, unless their presence is known, that somehow they become inadequate. Somehow they are no longer significant. Somehow they just disappear. So they always have to make sure people know they're there. And what's the easiest way to do that? Blah, blah, blah. Just start running your mouth. Make sure everybody hears you. Make sure the person you're with doesn't forget you're standing right there or sitting right there. You gotta make sure that they do not fall between the cracks and get lost in the ether and whatever. Isn't it true that an overly talkative person tends to be much more sensitive than a quiet person? Have you ever noticed this? A talkative person may say to a quiet person, Oh, you're so quiet, and just these dumb things about how quiet they are. And the quiet person is supposed to take it. It's like, yeah, that's who I am. But do they say anything back? No, they just sort of, yeah, okay. But... When that quiet person mentions to that talkative person how much they talk and how much they vocalize and how much they just need to not talk so much, suddenly that's an attack, isn't it? They get upset. They get sensitive. They get defensive. 
What can you do? So the best thing that you can do is think through what you're going to say. Think through what needs to be said. Make sure it contributes to the flow of the conversation and isn't just you projecting your ego, your insecurity, your perceived inadequacies on this planet, making sure that people don't forget you. Just contribute to the flow of the conversation and you'll come across as an intelligent person. Run your mouth, say things that don't matter, say things that just interrupt, they say things that are impertinent, and you're probably going to come across as unintelligent, and you're lucky if people don't tell you to shut up. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. There's more on the way. Oh, and click around the other videos on my channel. You'll find something you like.